वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल प्लाट साइंस टूल्स आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मल्टीपल बार चार्ट दैट हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट अ मल्टीपल बार चार्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑल्सो हैव क्रिएटेड अ मल्टीपल बार चार्ट बट फ्रॉम अ सिंपल डेटा हे वी विल इम्प्रो इम्पोर्ट अ एक्सेल फाइल टू क्रिएट अ मल्टीपल बार चार्ट द एक्सेल फाइल डेट आर ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेड इन दिस इज शोइंग हेयर दैट it is of basically of 10 uh, uh number of observations of uh, basically the uh, 10 varieties a to j and uh, these 10 varieties have different yields uh, that is very from uh, yield 1 to yield 6 in the uh, basically the 6 years that i have uh, calculated the uh, data so uh, here i have uh, given a data uh, one name uh, to this and uh, also uh, use a data dot frame function to use this uh, my file that is basically uh, varieties one to create a uh, data set so uh, to create a multiple bar plot uh, this is also basically a simple uh, like uh, the pre uh, previous video uh, we need to use a bar plot function then we need to uh, describe they need to uh, discuss about the height function that i have already discussed in the previous video uh, that we uh, use this function height uh, and also uh, to specify that the uh, data of uh, y uh, means uh, basically here we will use uh, this height function and to describe our vari y variables because uh, in the bar plot functions uh, we first write uh, basically the uh, y variable uh, so that is uh, shown in the data here our y, uh, y variables basically is uh, the t into data 1 and uh, here uh, the my, uh, that i have already created in this that in this square bracket uh, mention minus 1 sign that is basically uh, showing that uh, the uh, data that i have uh, given in this uh, basically tells about that uh, not to include the first column in uh, while we uh, plot our data so uh, basically minus 1 is used to uh, specify that uh, the exclude uh, we need to exclude the uh, first variable uh, so basically the first uh, observation that is basically variety names of a to j uh, so here uh, the second main thing is the names dot ard we need to specify it uh, because basically in this uh, a uh, function we need to write our x variable uh, so basically uh, here our x variable is the data1 dollar and varieties so this is our x variable uh, here you can see uh, that uh, the first one uh, varieties is basically our x variable and the whole data is our ma mainly the total calculation of these all values you are is our y variable that i have already given in the height function and also mention there that the uh, to uh, these varieties names are not to included in the height function uh, so uh, also specify here that uh, true or uh, that i already discussed in the previous video uh, sorry so uh, next one thing is basically the column function uh, that is uh, used to uh, give a the color here we will uh, use a uh, rainbow color and uh, here we need to specify that the all columns are uh, n columns are uh, included except of the data 1 of uh, minus 1 which specifies that not to include the first column of uh, this data and uh, then we need also specify here that uh, the Uh, yield of uh, in the main function that is the main heading of our uh, plot that is basically the yield of uh, varieties and uh, the next main thing is the x lab to specify uh, to label the x axis uh, which is basically uh, varieties labeled by the varieties and the next one is the y lab to label the uh, y axis with the in here name so uh, y name is basically already discussed in the previous many videos uh, that to uh, specify the limits of the 
uh, y axis here uh, i have to specify it to 0 to uh, 80 uh, this is basically depending upon your uh, max uh, value so also have already created here the legend that is basically the uh, first of all we need to given uh, about the uh, side that uh, in this video i have to uh, shown it on the top left and uh, then we need a legend and uh, uh, another function of names or to give the names uh, to these all uh, uh, values uh, that is given into the height uh, variable uh, of the data one and also to exclude the uh, first uh, first uh, names that is basically of uh, varieties uh, and uh, we can also uh, specify here that the uh, with the help of the title functions uh, that is basically used to uh, give the title of the legend and also we need to uh, fill the color uh, so in this way we can also uh, fill the color and that I already given in the bar plot function so after running this code you can see here the output that uh, the multiple bar plot, uh, bar plot is created so I think uh, there is a uh, giving a small error and we need to check it. So here is a small error of Womba and after running this code uh, I think so in we got our output. So this is basically the output of our code that is basically showing these all are the six uh, sorry 10 varieties that is uh, named of the a b c to j and uh, this is basically showing uh, these all the uh, values so here you uh, in the legend bar you can see here that the uh, title of the legend is uh, jean and uh, this is basically uh, the red color is of uh, jean 1 yellow color is jean 2 and uh, the green color is jean 3 these are uh, the basically the yields of all six varieties uh, that is uh, given in the uh, different six years. Oh, sorry, ten varieties of given in the different six years. So this is basically the uh, uh, that how can we create our uh, multiple uh, bar plot by using our CSC file or Excel file. In this way, you can create your multiple bar plot. So uh, I hope this video is very helpful for all of you. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button. Thank you.